In restoration therapy, we just basically train people to recognize the cyclical processes of pain, help them come to some conclusion about an alternative truth message that they want to tell themselves, really say, what can you use that truth for in a positive way in terms of what we call uh, a peaceful sense of who you are in terms of your identity and safety. It's a practice piece. I can teach that anywhere in a psychological, secular environment. But when you put it in fuller, you see how integrated restoration therapy is. Restoration therapy is really about a process of changing the old sinful self into the newness of Christ. Right. And when we do that, then we're able to make choices that are more in line with the fruit of the Spirit. Particularly in the Pauline theology of old self and new self, Paul says this over and over again, is, is that your really cooperative work with the Holy Spirit in your life is taking off the old self and emotionally regulating and mindfully moving into the new self. And Paul himself, he says this over and over again, don't be conformed to this world, be transformed mm -hmm. by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. Uh, in, in Ephesians chapter four, take off the old self and by the renewing of the spirit of your mind, put on the new self. Mm -hmm. I, I really think of relationships like discipleship, because really, if we're dealing with ourselves like we should, with clear identity, clear sense of safety, then we're working with the Holy Spirit and those fruits of the Spirit start coming out of us. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. Those are great things. That's because they're loving and they're trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Think of Hebrews 12, yeah. for instance, yeah, yeah, right. is that since we have such a great cloud of witnesses mm -hmm. and we have the Holy Spirit on our side and they're up in the grandstands yeah. yelling for us going, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, you can do this. Everybody is working and training to reform our identity, reform our sense of safety. And now it's our turn to do what we can but we're not alone in that process. We have good, faithful believers that are working on our behalf, and we have God yeah. himself yeah. that's working on our behalf. Right. That combination allows us to get the breadth that we need to be able to run the race with yeah. endurance.